What is up guys, it's Diplex here again, hope you guys have had a good day so far, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing combat mission Red Thunder, and if I'm not entirely incorrect, it should be available on Steam now. So click the link down below if you want to buy and play this game yourself. I know a lot of people have previously been a little bit confused with the Battlefront.com page where these games were all sold before. It's a fantastic game series, I love all of the combat mission games, I think they add... Um, all of them add a lot on their own um, with the factions and units and maps and, and, and features and whatnot. And I think, I mean, I know it's all divided into different fronts, like you have one for the Eastern Front, one for Normandy and Market Garden, one for, you know, the, the Battle of the Bulge, the late war on the Western Front. You've got one for Italy and maybe, maybe just maybe, we could get to see one for North Africa. That would be really, really cool. Anyway... Um, they're a bit pricey, I know people have said that, but the amount of action and gameplay and playtime you will get out of each game is just incredible. There are so many units, factions, maps, and you can just endlessly play this and create your own battles and scenarios and whatnot. So, frankly, if you told me that Gates of Hell, um, Call to Arms Gates of Hell would have been like 69 euros, I would have bought it because I've played it for thousands. I mean, at least hundreds of hours. We'll play it for thousands of hours. So, I understand that. I mean... The core beauty of this game being one of my favorite, if not my favorite, strategy games, hardcore strategy games, is just the attention to detail, the realism, the scale, the atmosphere is just incredible. And I'm not sure it's actually, I'm not sure it's that, uh, the, is it conveyed over video? I'm not sure. But you guys have always enjoyed my combat mission videos and I'm going to continue making them. So I believe I have Battle of Normandy to do some for as well, especially Black Sea. It might be a little controversial considering the ongoing war in Ukraine, but there is a mod for it that takes it to 2022 instead of 2017. Maybe something we could look at. It's pretty cool. But um, that aside, let's focus on today's battle, which is going to be in Red Thunder. And it is the latest addition to the Steam store. I believe Shock Force 2 is on Steam as well. Or is it? I'm not sure. I used to play a lot of Shock Force 2 back in the day, too. We've had some fun with them all. And, of course, the final Blitzkrieg, which is the Battle of Voltron. But Fortress Italy is the one game I haven't played yet. So, if Battlefront, guys, if you're listening to this hook me up or put it on steam or when you do put it on steam let me know i really do appreciate you guys sending me the cd keys so we're doing sort of a battle of narva retreat here it's a defensive operation for the germans that we will be controlling today um we have a pretty decent force with some reserves that i want to pull in dynamically because i think it looks awesome so what we got here hold on um, is Battalion HQ. So let's just like run it through because we're not in a rush when we make these videos and you guys always do enjoy this tactical slowness, slow, slow, slowness. Yeah, tactical depth and slow sort of action. Uh, first Battalion pretty much in control and command of everything except for a detached Sturmgeschütz Battalion over here that we're going to deploy later. We do have a mortar section back here. And then we have the company command for pretty much all of the infantry over there. We have some of the support weapon companies over here. That's the light infantry gun platoon with two light infantry guns covering each crossing. Main crossing, that is. There are more crossings here. Fourth company, which is ahead of all of that. Or head of all of that. And then we have the second platoon AT guns here. The classic 75 mil pack uh, guns. There we go. Yes, the... Classic, pack 75. Pack 40? Where do they get pack 75 from? Sometimes, you know, it's, you call it, you don't call it flak 88, it is a flak 36, technically, or a flak 18, it depends on, um, no, this is a flak, what is this? This is a flak 36, isn't it? Is it flak 38? I know that you call it flak 88 sometimes, but it's not technically called flak 88, but sometimes you just add a, the, the, um, the millimeter, the caliber later. This is, however, the 20 mil. We got one of those just separately here because I think it's kind of cool. So also, aside all the guns covering this river crossing, we do have machine guns. Two teams there and another two over here. Um, and the machine gun platoon HQ is there in the center. Um, these small HQs, just because it says HQ doesn't mean like, I'll oh, keep them protected. It's like two guys. This is what, like a lieutenant or something. What is that, a captain? Three, three, um, I'm not sure the, the Waffen SS, uh, rank insignia is not, uh, my expertise. I know they have different ranks to the Wehrmacht, maybe even different insignias, not sure. This is probably a second lieutenant equivalent, 
uh, in charge there. Um, yes. So anyway, that's pretty much the main defensive line packs, light infantry guns, um, some flak 40s, arena flak um, 20 mils. I can't see if this is a 38 or 36. Honestly, it should be. That should be an 8, because I believe the Flak 36 is actually the 88 mil, the classic 88 mil. And then uh, the HMGs here. It's been a while since we did some World War II stuff, to be honest. Um, and the older you get, the, the, the weaker your memory gets. Um, boomer talk here, but anyway, guys, maybe some of you will recognize that. Um, you got to just stay in shape all, in all kinds of ways. Then we have a first platoon over here, um, which is divided into three squads and... Or th yeah, three squads and three teams per squad. Because I kind of want to do like a little. I want to. I kind of want to simulate like a retreat here across the river, just for fun. Like we don't have to. We don't have to put up an iron curtain here. And then we have a another platoon over here, which is also split into three teams, covering each sections here at center, right, and left, um, and the northeast city and the northwest bridge. Those are the two main objectives we're going to try and defend. And then I have kind of simulate a third platoon reinforcements pack here with. The main, main and strengthening uh, force: two Panzer IV H, and one Panzer V A Panther, with some infantry here. Having said that, let's go ahead and uh, remove the objectives. Let's keep the floating icons for now. And as soon as we click start, this battlefield is going to convert into something much more pretty than what we're seeing right now. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and like, and uh, let's enjoy Red Thunder. Next phase. Here we go. And let's see where the, the the Russians hit us first. So I'm going to be ready to pull back here. Now there's going to be a lot of armor and infantry coming at us here from all along the flank. So it'll be... Um, we'll see how much of we can save from this first platoon. In fact, I'm getting a little nervous thinking we're that close already. Let's, uh, let's get send some men back straight away. We're just simulating, once again, we're simulating a retreat here. What was that? Okay, let's see if we... Out of contact. Um, We need a radio man close to these. He hasn't got a radio. Let's get battalion HQ on that then. Send, we'll send back battalion HQ there so that, that we can radio in. We can radio in artillery. Someone's got a radio around here. You've got a radio, Fort Company HQ. I'm going to send you this way, because I think I want to screen some mortars down this main street. Um, they're going to be taking it slow. They might move up armor together with infantry. We'll see. But they're, they're actually sort of shelling the... Shelling this uh, crossing here. Preemptively. I think I'm going to... Rotate my armor and have them ready to defend that left side because from what our first platoon can tell and some of the teams that are pushed up across the other side of the river There is armor back there. They are reporting that with hearing. We haven't got any visuals But all those those tank signs back there indicate that there could be armor there. So let's get our men into some sort of position here Let's uh, organize the uh, Stugs I'm gonna pull back this team as well quick about it oh first spotting made yeah maybe this is something that our dear pack 40 here can deal with panza four vats Love that engine sound. I'm being a little cautious. I like it. Let's call in some artillery now. Some mortars. Let's use one of the mortars. Can we... No line of sight. That's awful. Is there any way... There's some sort of higher vantage point somewhere here where we can use it? 
We'll leave him here regardless. Okay. You could radio it in. Get in the building. Yep. Yeah. We can call in. Mortar strike. I think I might want to try and do like a linear target. These are on map infantry guns, but they should be capable of firing direct. That's a pretty good one, isn't it? If now that's going to cover most of the center, it might funnel them in to use the side crossings, both of the extreme crossings. Let's do a, um, a harassing bombardment for a medium. We've got short harassing bombardment to get them out of that center. Ooh, that's an assault gun. 152 mil. Oh, that's nasty. All right. Let's let's pull back a little bit here because they've got tanks moving up. So let's pull down. Let's escape with this. Let's maybe form back up and try and get across the river. Let's pull them back as well. We have to fold in on that angle. Uh, these tanks are not in a good position right now. Let's move them up into somewhere where they can maybe strike those guns moving forward. Let's bring both of these assault guns up here. Like so. Oh, we're getting close now with the Russian infantry. They're coming up. Oh, look at that. Armor moving. Oof. They just barely hit our uh, our crew here. Let's 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 strike back. Let's have them come back there. These guys are fanatic SS troops. They should have they should be pretty pretty solid. We got a 20 mil opening up on them. Nice, we hit them. Oh, but look at this. A team. Not so A anymore. Yeah, well, that happens. Casualties of war. Five men for a T-34 any day. Oh, we got rifle grenades being fired. That's a sniper. He would be good to bring down. Yeah, this sort of, uh, how's it going here? On the call-in. Let's try and escape here. Let's bring these teams back here into the defilade. That's nice, though. Burning T-34, that, that's a good way to start this battle. How's it looking over here? Let's pull back. Do you think we could somehow get across here? In, like, a covered retreat? Let's try. Let's pull back anyway. Get out. Infantry guns are covering. Oh, assault gun here. Stug 3 is in a great position to target and challenge that. Um... Nice! Pack 40. Right on. Penetration. Feindliche Panzer verstört. Oh, look at them. They're pushing up here, though. Are we going to get a little... Um... Are we going to get a little Panzerfaust action here? Oh! Can you not see them? Are you daft? Can you... Yeah, can you... Can you not... Somehow, can you not see that tank? There it is! Fire! Hit it! Oh! That's some Saving Private Ryan stuff. With the Panzer Shrek up close. 
Oh, well, he died, but I mean, that's a penetration. That should be down. They've got more tanks coming up. There's these are Soviets, man. Okay, the mortars are coming in now with the harassing fire. Oh, we're funneling them into the. Oof! Nice! Okay, I think it's time we try and retreat across now. We've got enough cover here. These guys are exhausted. Let's see what one team can do. While the rest remain here for now. Ah! Yeah, they're hitting our infantry crossing the river. Ooh! Suppress them, come on! Come on. Let's try and cross to here. They're whacked. They're knocked. They're knocked out, man. Well, we have to pull back. Is a uh, platoon okay? Have a look. What they've done there. Time to pull back. Time to pull back. We're getting across here though. That's nice. Time to get across here too now. Let's cover that retreat. This B team is down pretty heavy here with casualties. But it was nice to do a little preliminary. I mean, they're. Look at the. the look at them coming over here. Coming up in force, man. There. Right. Men out. Let's get these guys on. Alle steigen auf die Panzer! Los! That's one bit like it can really zoom you out. Let's uh, get some more mortars in here with with a team that can um, confidently call them in. They're both bussy, bussy, <laughs> bussy. <laughs> They're both busy. <laughs> All right. Uh, get on, get on, get on. We're waiting for a few more to get on. It takes a while. There's a lot of men here. All right. So that's it. Fire mission complete on them. Let's get in. They're still busy. So. That's the spotter right there. Let's uh, let's let's can let's cancel it. The, uh, the 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 firing four minutes. They're firing for four minutes now. Okay, that's it. Let's call in a. Uh, Where is your line of sight? Let's end it. Yeah, let's end it right there. Heavy for maximum amount of time confirmed. They're gonna start coming across now in force. Our armor is. We're doing what we can to hold them back there. But let's uh, let's let's uh, let's get the men up here. Let's send in. Let's send them in onto the right flank here.
Oh, this is so nice. Look at this first. Let's have a look at the, the crossing here. That's nice. Работа. They're really pushing over with armor here. They got armor in sort of a supporting position here. I understand that. Oh, but well, we're shelling on there. With our light infantry guns, machine guns. We're going to try and stop them there. These guns are in as good of a position they can be in right now. We're really trying to, like, clog that opening. Uh, let's muster some infantry here. Uh, let's get some men up. Bring one up there as well. There we go. That should be... That's from the reserve platoon. I'm not sure where they're... That's actually from this platoon over here. We're holding the center with these guys. One man left on that other side of the river. I don't think he's going to be running anywhere. These guys, we'll leave them there to it. A few got out here. Two were wounded. They're really trying to push hard on that side now. Let's bring up some additional infantry. Because now they're hitting up uh, our men on that side. Let's muster these guys too. Let's get them into a building here, level 2. And let's get these guys in on that. Uh, I'm generally opposed to putting men into buildings because it makes them such a big target. Right, guys. Dismount. Those kids. Aufstehen. Aufstehen. Aufsteigen. Something like that. Alright, maybe not slow. Let's be quick about it. It's the funniest, it's the funniest crouch walking in, uh, that I like. Nice. And let's, uh, slow roll this panzer up here. Panther's coming up. We're gonna we're gonna hit we're gonna counterattack hard on this side. One of the oh the armor's gotten up now. Bad. Right, let's get make sure we have the Panzer Shreks ready. They're ready for whenever that armor appears. Let's get into a protective side there on the building. Let's make sure these men are pushed back into the tree line here where they have potentially Significantly more cover against enemy armor and whatnot. They're gonna go in there among the buildings. Let's do some tank hunting here. Let's get these guys across the street quick and then hunt through this narrow path here. This tank needs to be reversed. Communicate to them that we've got enemy armor here. Let's pull them back all the way here. Have you got smoke? No, that seems like a modern, more modern thing. <laughs> it's not even an option for it. Pull back this MG before it gets caught in the, in the crossfire. Let's pull them back here. Let's pull them back as well. We're losing part of that area right now. This gun is knocked out. It's this, this, uh, can you bail out now? There's nothing left to it. Let's retreat. Oh, that tank is there. Oh, it's there. It's, if, it, if it pulls out... Let's see, let's see, let's see if we can maybe hit it with this uh, Stoke here. Let's hold that left flying for now. Let's 
get some men up here. That wall. He's fighting here. No way, are they all dead? Oh my god, it's like... Jesus, what a meat grinder. Are we getting artillery soon? We need that along the entire line now. A lot of it. Max guns fire. Boom. Big explosion back there. Likely a... Um... Let's get a new target going here. Armor's rolling up here. Nice. We got we're getting our first men in here. Let's bring them up here. Let's pull up the Panther as well now. We're gonna counteract on this side. Funnel the uh Try and stop them at the riverbank. They're trying to push up. That's very nice. Look at that. They're getting close. We're going to run into our MGs. Oh, we hit we hit from that side. Beautiful. That tank is knocked out. I must say, likely courtesy of this beautiful Panzer Shrek team. Did him dirty like that. Let's do them again here on the side. Let's give them. We'll have this B team run run with them there on that side. This MG set up here now, together with this. Could no, most likely this is a Stumgish, it's probably knocked it out. <clears throat> Let's leave them there for now. Let's get into that building. Come with the mortars now. Firing for full effect now. Let's go. Really close quarter fighting here. Tree lines. Nice. This MG is still standing miraculously. Lots of uh, casualties nearby, but they're they're fighting on. Pack down. Gunner is fine, actually. We're holding here just around the corner here. Let's bring them up a little bit. Got another ammo team over there. That's fine. This team is moving up here, assaulting. Nice. Let's split this. Split them. Let's strike there for now. Push into some buildings here. There we go, let's go. Now, we also have a team here. That we can come up into the force line here and cover this side in case they break through.
We got incoming air. Move down Main Street. Let's link it up with this Panzer IV here as well. Move them up. Cover that side a little bit more. And why not also the Panther? We'll leave the Panther here for now. Move the Panther up here just to the side a little bit. Split these teams. Leave the MG over here. Bring A team that way, B team, push up here a bit slowly onto the flank. Can't believe we have one man alive there, that guy died, but this guy's still fine. Arnold. Still pushing up, they have so much manpower. They've got like three times our strength. Well, it, it is... Um, How it should be, perhaps. Let's take that building. Let's take that building as well. This MG is completely knocked out. Let's bring them back here. How's this gun doing? Man, bailout. That gun is abandoned. That gun is down even. Doesn't even have doesn't even have any ammunition left. So let's get them out of here. Rendezvous in that building. The left flank is highly unprotected now. I think I'm gonna assemble these guys. Then I'm gonna rendezvous back here, form their squad, and then move out to the left. I'll send platoon with them. There we go. Oh wait, he's uh, busy calling it in. Wait. Let's get him back there then. Might have already done it, though, to be honest. They're still spotting. Third squad is in a world of hurt. There we go. That's That was quicker than I thought it would be. Wow, we lost 51 men, though. They lost 173, but decent. 25 one wounded, one tank lost. Uh, when did we lose a tank? Seven tanks lost, one armored vehicle lost. 50 men dead. Yeah, so, so about 75 casualties. They have around almost around 250. 162 alive, 63. Okay, let's review the map. When did I lose a tank? Was it this one here? That one's fine. When did I? Where? Oh, oh, that's stupid. I had these two. I forgot about them completely. Completely, completely, completely. Completado, completado, completado. So that's. It's really nice to see now the remnants here. They're put. Oh, they can be seen pulling back. Look at this. That's kind of a cool picture, isn't it? I think so. I think it's kind of about dope. But I do like the one where we had all the. Uh, the uh, German tanks advancing. I think that'll be the thumbnail because it looks really cool. Um, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the link down below. And if you guys want to see more combat mission gameplay, let me know. We can do Battle for Normandy. I have... I'm using an all-in-one mod for this. Um, which does change some things. Makes the tanks look a little more rugged. Work onto the uniforms and sounds. Um, you can Google Combat Mission Red Thunder All-in-One Mod, and there should be a link at the top to a forum that leads you to a Mediafire download. And it is a big mod, and it does a lot of cool things to textures and whatnot. I usually do run with some mods every now and then I do. Um, it's nice. And I should have the same for Combat Mission Battle for Normandy uh, booted and ready to go as well when we do play that. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again.
Tchau.